So hello everybody, it is Power Week, it means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update this time, it is June 2020 and I'm here to deliver what is new and what my thoughts are on it. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay guys, June 2020, what are the updates? The first thing they talk about is a new phone report editing experience. So here's the thing, the first one they have done a new phone emulator so the actual look and feel is going to be a bit different and one of the reasons for that is because you have now more granularity to how and where you placed your visuals on that little phone that you have there when you're out through mobile report which is nice, that is actually a very nice thing where the grid was a bit too thick before, so it was quite hard to place elements in there. So this is nice. The next one, they have added titles to the visuals. Here's the thing, when you're creating mobile reports, you get all the visuals that you have on a tab or on a sheet, they get moved over to the mobile experience, and that's what you use to create mobile report. And before there were no titles, now if you have titles on the visuals, you will see the titles on the mobile experience. You have to have titles, otherwise it won't help you. You can also see if they are hidden or not the visuals in the actual report and uh, if you, again, if you use titles this will definitely help you and you can now overlay tiles. You couldn't do that before, it means that you couldn't have like an image and then put something on top. You can do that now. Those three things are nice. I'm still missing two very important things that are needed for mobile reports. Number one, I don't want the reports or the visuals from a report to move over to mobile. I want to be able to create own mobile visuals. Why? Because more often what you see on the run on your mobile is not necessarily what you want to look at when you're doing reporting and you know you have a big screen. So. I think that is a must. That is definitely a must. The second one that I think is a must is to have mobile visuals, like visuals created for mobile, for small screens. I don't think that the ones that are used for bigger screens fit on more screens. And we've seen that if you have a you know mobile phone, you see that the visuals are actually different. So development on that would be very, very good. With that said, the additions are actually good. Uh, next item it is automatic page refresh. I have a cheat note here. It is generally available. I have actually an idea for a video on that. I will do it later on when I have a little bit more time. So generally available, that's great. We have uh, the hierarchical slicer is now generally available too, and they have introduced new features that are actually quite nice. We have we have we had, before we had the chevrons. I didn't know it was called like that icons. I didn't like them very much to be honest. Now we have plus minus, which is what they have in Excel. Well done. I think they are very good. And then we have a carrot, which I think they also they are quite lovely. So that's nice. And. What else do we have? Now, if you resize the text on the slicer, the icons will also get resized, which is nice. And you can indent, uh, choose the indentations, how much from one level to another, how much they, will they move, uh, which is nice too. And then we have the slicer works with AI visuals. Okay. So modern ribbon generally available. I, think that what is missing for the mobile, uh, for the new ribbon is, uh, you know, the sh quick shortcuts that you have on Excel, for example, on all the Office package. I haven't been able to use it because I get blue screens and it just wipe out everything, all the settings in Power BI, which I wish they would fix it. But I know a lot of you want to have it, so please vote it if you still want to have those. Um, now, they introduced last month featured tables uh, in Excel. So it means that you can get a table in Power BI and feature it in Excel and you will see it there as a featured table. Now it supports role level security. So now let's move to the line chart updates. They have actually the dots that you can put on on the line chart. You can now change the color manually. Mm -mm -mm. That needs to be conditional format in using DAX for sure. And I don't want to change the color of the dots. I want to change the color of the line. 
that would make me happy so but you can change the dots manually that's what you have for today and now my favorite of everything that's been released this month is that if you're working with the live connection for example with SSAS I'm not working with that now, but I did before. You couldn't see the model. So if you wanted to see the model, you have to go to SSAS. And as a developer, you know, they have to give me access there. But it was just... Now there is a modeling thing when you have a live connection. That is very, very good. That is, for me, the best update this month. So let me know on the comment box, as always, which one is your favorite update and why. And I will see you again tomorrow with a Dax Friday's video. So until then, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and bye-bye.